The first part of the hadith is about rules, correct? It's about how we live our lives. It's about all these do's and don'ts that we are taught and we hear about, right? Oh, you know, in Islam, you're not allowed to drink. You're not allowed to, you know, take drugs. You're not allowed to date. You have to dress a certain way. All these rules, right? How do we now connect these rules to the heart? And this is what the hadith is doing. The Prophet Sallallahu is telling us that yes, there are prohibited matters and there are things which are doubtful. Now staying away from those prohibited matters, now this is an important note, staying away from those prohibited matters is not because we're doing God a favor. Now that's the thing is that sometimes we, we feel like, man, with all these rules, and it's just like, <laughs> why? You know, why all these rules? Well, when you go to a doctor, right, and the doctor tells you, eat healthy food, stay away from poison. You know, it's not a good idea to drink poison. You know, you might want to stay away from it. Now, if you decide with your own free will to go home and drink poison, and not just drink one bottle, but drink three, do you harm the doctor or do you harm yourself? Clearly, you harm yourself. The doctor does not get harmed if you go home and completely ignore his or her advice. You only harm yourself. You're poisoning your own self. And it's that same way when there is a, there's something that God has prohibited. God gives us rules. It isn't for his sake in the sense that we benefit or harm him. Because God cannot be benefited or harmed by us. God is completely self-sufficient. And one of the, you know, I think one of the false understandings we have of God is that, you know, if you stay up all night and you pray, you feel kind of like, oh, I just, you know, I should, be, I should be paid back, as if you did God a favor, right? You did all this hard work. You, you, know, you, pl you put in all these hours into volunteerism and all these good deeds, and it's almost like we feel like we did God a favor. We don't benefit God. We don't do God a favor. That's impossible because we can't add to God's kingdom. But in fact, we do ourselves a favor, and this is why Allah repeats to us and God tells us again and again in the Quran that if you... Whatever you follow, whatever you do of good is for yourself. And they did not harm us. God says they did not harm us. See, when we rebel against God, we don't harm God. We harm our own selves. The one who went home and drank the poison is not rebelling against the doctor, but is rebelling against his or her own self. So this concept of the, 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 the haram and the halal and the forbidden, all these rules, right? We have to come back to understand the essence, that it isn't just about rules. It isn't just about our parents trying to control us or our husbands or our wives, right? Or our teachers. But essentially, this is something for our own good.